Last week on Sailing Adrift, we started building the box for our refrigerator using vacuum insulated panels. Why are they sticky? A whole lot of foam, fiberglass, and epoxy. This week, grab your popcorn and get ready. Enjoy part two as the saga continues. Far from pretty, but we did it. done there? Just about. I'm gonna make that a little bigger. Just putting some hinges on the door to see if it'll open and close and then we'll start doing all the other insulation. Cool. Yeah, I routed these out. They look great. They do Sand look them great. up and they'll look pretty good. Mm-hmm. Got it. Sweet. Now let's hope it opens. Sweet. There, is it starting to look like a refrigerator? Yes. Absolutely. You could put cold things in here and they'll stay cold, theoretically. We could put Henry in here and he'd probably suffocate and die. Yes, I would. Henry, stay out of the fridge. Okay. I'm working on our, uh, I guess, top insulation. This is the doorway. One inch piece of the fiberglass backed insulation. I'm sandwiching it with a half inch piece of the fiberglass insulation. It should create an inch and a half with two layers of gaskets. And there's room enough for our uh, gas strut that comes tomorrow. So hopefully it all fits. Check it out. I sanded everything. Nice. First I fared it, then I sanded it. Did we show fairing? Maybe not, but I did that. <laughs> oh, he definitely did some of that. This looks like a crime scene. Yeah, I was mixing the fairing compound, holding it between my feet. Not a good idea. Clearly not. Where were you a couple hours ago? Okay, wipe these down with acetone. And then we're gonna try out this pigment thing. Don't get excited because the first coating is supposed to be virtually transparent. Oh. So this is official West Systems 501 white pigment. This is more white than I expected on the first coat. I kinda like it mm -hmm. for one coat. Pretty happy with how this turned out, Kelly. Check this out. Like it doesn't look flawless, but it looks pretty cool, I think. I don't even mind that it's slightly transparent. And it's tough. We'll give it a quick test fit just to make sure everything's ready to go. What do you think? I think it looks great. What it's do pretty, you think? It's pretty spacious. I'm pretty happy with it. It should be about seven cubic feet when we're done, which is quite a bit for a a marine fridge. I'm gonna get the spray foam and we'll go to town and then I'll go get a square too so we can just make sure all the walls and stuff are flat and even. I'll be back. This go around we're using great stuff window and door. Why? Because at Home Depot they had this weird display and Henry and I decided that this one looked the coolest. It was like plexiglass with some of this behind it so you can see what it looks like when it's insulating. Wow. And we both picked this. That's a good reason. It's scientific. Mm -hmm. Okay so we're gonna start with the bottom, smoosh it down, make sure it's level. And then we'll just go in one piece at a time and stack these in order. All right, we're ready. What you're seeing here are the vacuum insulated panels, which have an R value of 30 per panel. Each side is doubled up with two panels, giving us an R value of 60. Just make it work. Now in all these corners, we'll put epoxy in there and put the fillets. That's pretty much it. All right. There we have it. Well, I spent about 15 minutes sanding this morning, making all the surfaces inside pretty, and then I put the lid on and covered everything in spray foam again. Some say a waste of time. Others say an incredible waste of time. Looks like we have good squeeze out all the way around. The next step was to, uh, had the fillets to all the sides and, and joints. And I decided that putting the lid on and doing the fillets makes the most sense. That way we can put all the coats of the pigmented epoxy on at once and hopefully make this a lot easier. 
We're gonna go for four additional coats of pigmented epoxy. That I'm hoping will give us enough coverage. It'll be nice and strong and that's the biggest part. Having fun? Easier to sand this when it was in two pieces. Mm-hmm. But what can you do? Anyway, I want to get this done. Yeah. Since the refrigerator technically might have food in it someday, I'm gonna make this that resin rich mixture that we did for the water tank. Nice and well mixed, and just a nice thin layer, times like probably four or five. We'll see. We're gonna we're gonna try to do this wet on tacky today. So <clears throat> roll it out when it gets tacky. Roll out the next one so we don't have to sand in between layers. And it is hot. It's 104 right now outside. Uh, cruising up to 106 is the high for the day. So I'm hoping this will start to fire off a lot sooner than normal and we might be able to get four or five coats done just today. This is my setup. Everything has fillets in there and it's nice and smooth. We're not gonna worry about the outside. We're gonna do this when we do the lid. So we're just doing the inside today. Just wanna do a ton of little thin coats. Anyway, cool. do this and then we'll Check in after a couple of coats. All right. Sounds like a plan. First mate's log. Sunday, June 27th, 10.24 a.m. It's already 91, heading for a high of 116. That's hot. But don't worry. I have two sweatbands on, and that's full of ice water. Nice. Yes. Yes, it is. Nice and cold so far. Anyway, obviously the interior is far from gorgeous. But the functionality of it, I'm quite happy with. Feels like the inside of a refrigerator. Anyway, I'm just uh, kind of feeling around and sanding down spots. Quite frankly, I don't give a crap if there's like visible drips and stuff like that. I just want it to be smooth, cleanable inside, and uh, function well. That's the plan. Do you have any problems with that, Kelly? No. Okay. You go make templates, and I'll get myself all white and dusty. Okay, sounds good. And we'll see who can saturate their shirt first. My money's on me. It's hot, man. It is hot. These are the bins, as you saw previously. I'm going to line them with this vinyl backing that we have in the back of these cubbies here, which the couch cushion will cover. Okay, time to get to work. We found that using the compass has been the best way to create templates for things of this nature. They're not always 100% but it's a whole lot better than guessing. What you working on? Hi. I'm making the lid for the refrigerator, the insulation part. So what I'm going to do is, this is the lid, this is obviously the inside of the lid, and this will eventually be attached to the actual lid itself, which lives right there, mm. next to my fancy big-ass gaskets. But first, we need to turn this into a nice, firm, beautiful uh, fiberglass and insulated lid. And to do that, I'm going to try to use this cotton batting, which will soak up excess epoxy, and a vacuum bag where we just like take a vacuum cleaner and suck on this to get all the air out and hopefully conform to it. How should we do this? Put your layers of fiberglass on and wet them out, but it doesn't have, it has to have enough resin on it, but it doesn't have to be like completely like saturated and even and smooth. All we're trying to do is get the epoxy in place and ensure there's enough of it to uh, adhere to and fill all the voids. Then there's this, we'll call it breathe fabric. That just allows airflow. And it soaks up any extra resin. We put on the two layers of fiberglass that we're gonna use for this by axle. Then we'll put peel ply on. And then another layer of the breather fabric. And we'll put the whole thing in the bag, suck all the air out and hold it vacuumed until the epoxy's fired off. It is time. Yes, let's hope this works. I got all the layers. Mm. 
was worried about the bridges. While we let the vacuum run and the epoxy harden up, there's another project calling. So, step one is to get this installed where it's supposed to be. Got it? Yep. Here we go. Is that possible? Look at that! <laughs> Give me two seconds, I'll be right back. I forgot to cut it. Ninety exactly. Oh jeez! Oh, oh. Did you hear that? Yeah. Don't let it move. Okay. Are you gonna sneeze again? No, that was just an effort. Oh. I was kind of like falling over while trying to push up, and there's some core work there. I don't do that a lot. What? How's it look? Is it square yet? I can't tell because you're in the face. <laughs> huh, yeah, it just takes patience. You see why you have to hurry? Nice job in all the chaos, dude. Yeah. But we're all happy with it. We're going to put furrings over these and these to make them look pretty. Mm -hmm. Now back to our little vacuum experiment. It's so hard yet yielding. You ready to open this? Mm hmm All right, Henry. You gotta get the bad layers off. Yep. Give me test. It takes muscles. I'll get this side. Okay. I'll get this side. So strong. You're like a little Hercules. Oh gosh! Yeah. What do you think? Good. There's some tinting around the edge of this. That's yeah. a bummer. I don't know what we're gonna do about that, but as far as this goes, we're in good shape. Good work. We're experiencing a bit of a heat wave in Portland. It's supposed to be 116 degrees today, something like that, something crazy. I think the record high is 108. Anyway, we are ready for primer which is exciting, but it is hot. I gotta work quickly because this paint's only good in 50 to 90 degree temperatures. So it's 6.30 this morning and it's already almost 90. I'm gonna have to work fast. Shall we begin? begin. Look at the difference, like a coat of primer makes. That's what the beauty of the red primer if we used a white primer, then when we put the coat of paint on, it wouldn't be a drastic change. Right. But this is like, boom, and then the white's like, bow, like that. Yeah. But look at that, that almost looks like a finish. It does. I would say this, Kelly, I think you did a great job. Let's see how that lid is coming along. Look at that. It's a lid. Fully insulated. Nice. It simmered out really well. Nice and smooth. In order to make this beautiful, I'll just make some thickened epoxy and put in the pigment. Everything's smooth, no voids, no nothing. This might seem off-centered to you, and it is, because over here is where that uh, gas strut lives, so we oh. just need to catch this lip mm -hmm. with the gasket. And this will have a double gasket all the way around. So, pretty damn happy with how this turned out. Hey, Cal. Yeah. You didn't happen to bring me a giant glass of water, did you? No, because you have your big jar. What big jar? <sighs> Caught. Oh. Stay thirsty, my friends. Now that the refrigerator box is pretty much assembled... We've got to get the refrigerator box put in right over there.
How does it fit? Looks good. All right. Sit on it, Kelly. Like, this is how far apart we're gonna be. Like, is this too close? Look at no. your little dangly feet. Remember, there's gonna be a four inch platform. No, I don't think this is too close. There'll be a table between us and we can play footsie like this while we eat the foods. And I'll take your sandals off and be like, why would you be carrying something so heavy wearing flip flops? Boat life. <laughs> Sprained ankle life. Hey you, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed what you saw and you want to keep following along, become a subscriber. Just hit that subscribe button below. And special thanks to our patron crew. We really appreciate your support. Show me your boobs. No. Why? Damn, girl. Eh.